What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Episode. Today, it is episode 61 and I have a few awesome things planned, including a little bit of enchanting, also a little bit of other stuff as well, like building and good stuff, it's gonna be fun. It, today, today is gonna be fun. So I wanna go ahead and grab all of my awesome tools and armor. Uh, which actually is over here, right? No? Maybe up here? No? Maybe up there? There we are. Okay, so let me grab some of this together and we will go ahead and start working and narrow down exactly what will be done today. Perfect! Alright, so the two things on the to-do list for today are one, start working on more enchanting, as I did mention earlier, but also I want to show you guys uh, the hidden room that we started earlier and I wanted to make something out of it and I thought you guys would Enjoy that, so that is what we'll be doing today, starting, of course, with enchanting. And there is one thing I do want to enchant, and that is a lovely, a glorious, a magnificent fishing rod. So I'm gonna gather all of the things I need, which is really just a few fishing rod, you know, a few fishing rod materials. Oh, you know what? I actually have a fishing rod already. Hold up. I do! Look at that! I've got a ton of fishing rods here. So let me go ahead and grab all of those dudes, and we will swiftly run on over- Oh, and I also want some food. Where did I keep that? You know, they don't call me the bread man for nothing. No. No, no one calls me the bread man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, 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 I will be enchanting fishing rods. I also went ahead and grabbed my three already enchanted fishing rods, and I want to create the best fishing rod of all time. Of all time, because what this is gonna enable me to do is fish and then get enchanted books and awesome and awesome enchantments through there. So hopefully this is gonna work out. It's very optimistic, but hopefully uh, this plan will go in my favor. So let's go ahead and begin with a fishing rod, and let's see what the third level enchantment is going to be. Luck of the Sea 3, which is very, very good. I think that's higher than any Luck of the Sea I have so far. Let's put all of the rods inside. Okay, so we have Luck of the Sea 3, Unbreaking 3, uh, and then Luck of the Sea 1. So now we just need a good lure, right? We just need a good lure. So let's see, is this going to give me lure? No, it's going to give me Unbreaking, Unbreaking, and Unbreaking. Alright, okay. Well, in that case, uh, let's find something else to enchant. Like, uh, this piece of- can I do the piece of bread? <laughs> can I enchant the piece of- no, probably not. Hold on, just a second. This is gonna be risky. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try to jump into the water. Hold on. Let me clear off a little running spot here. Can I get a- no. <laughs> no, like- <laughs> I'm not doing that again. I am not doing that again. Okay, let's grab something to enchant. Something really bad, like a gold sword or something like that. We can just get rid of one of these levels and see if we can reset the enchantments and, uh, and get something better. So, hold on. Just a second here. And up the tree of knowledge we go with our brand new gold sword that we are going to waste uh, one enchantment level on. Now, I do want to quickly talk while I am doing this about one thing, and that is, oh, sharpness two is not too bad for a level one enchantment. Uh, but yeah, so exams just did end for me, and, uh, and, and I've finally gotten back into the groove. So I just wanted to thank you guys for being patient with me, and yes, oh, lure two, look at that, oh, 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 so you know what we have here. If I go ahead and get the, uh, which, 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 which one is it? Unbreaking three. All right, unbreaking three is what I need. Okay, and then luck of the C3. All right, these three I need to combine. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll combine all three of these. So right now we'll get the luck of the C and unbreaking, and I will combine those, and then we'll also combine luck of the C with lure two and unbreaking, and I think this is the best fishing rod you can get. So we'll call this the rod of all rods. <laughs> That is the name of our fishing rod. The rod of all rods. We will take it and look at this. We have luck of the luck of the sea three, unbreaking three, and lure two. I'm pretty sure for a fishing rod, that is the best you can do. So you know what I want to try to do now is I want to see if we can catch something very, very unique or something spectacular with this fishing rod. So we'll go ahead and try. And uh, now I can talk to you guys about what I was going to talk about. So being consistent on YouTube, I have been I've been slacking recently. Very very recently, just a few, just the past week really, and it's because uh, exams just ended and then I kind of just like, I don't know, exams, well exams went and then they ended and then I was still, I just wasn't in it, but now I am back, it is, school is back, which means I can record whenever I get home, it just, the schedule is all back. And I'm very excited to be back, so hopefully you guys are as well. This lure too is not doing very good. 
There it is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> Look at that! Our first catch of the day is a saddle. So yeah, thank you guys. Uh, I guess I'll briefly sum that up. So thank you very much for sticking with me, and hopefully we can continue having a blast on this series and all the series on the channel. Um, is there a skeleton over there? It is. <laughs> it is. Oh, what do we got now? Oh, just a regular fish. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, uh, oh, got me scared, got me excited, got me excited, it's just a piece of rotten flesh, we will move along, and I really want to get some sort of enchanted book, or maybe some armor, I don't even know what you can get, oh, look at this, we got a speedy one, it is just a piece of salmon, can we get a back to back to back, no, no, I tried, I did try, I did try, alright, let's put away the salmon now, oh, bazinga, what is this? An unbreaking three bow. Okay, so it's getting a little bit more interesting now. That is good. That is very, very good. And oh, you know what? Another thing I really want to enchant sooner or later is an infinity bow. I want to get a really, really good bow with punch, flame, uh, power, and infinity. That would be crazy. So that's the next thing I want to max out in the enchantment. So we've got a we got the best fishing rod in the game, I think. Now I'll go ahead and double check later. But uh, this is definitely the best fishing rod in the game or like I said I think so next up we'll try to get the best bow and then maybe the best sword and then maybe the best armor after that I don't know I right now I think the fishing rod was definitely the easiest to do and I think the bow is gonna be one of the most useful to do so we'll go ahead and try the bow next and maybe that'll be next episode or the episode after that I don't know we'll see it's gonna take a little bit of level it's good I'm gonna have to have a pretty high level to do that but anyways let me fish up a few more things and then we will go ahead and move on to the next thing I wanted to do today Ooh, it is just another piece of salmon, but I don't even think, you know what? Salmon is great. That is a great catch, but I'm, I'm looking for something more. I'm looking for something more. Out of this fishing rod? Come on now. Okay. Oh, a normal fish. A normal fish. False alarm. All alarms are false. Let's try again. Oh, what's coming? What's coming? What's coming? Oh, another sim. Okay, you know what? We're gonna switch fishing spots and see if we can get a little bit luckier over here. So we're gonna go back this way over the gate. Yes, we will. And we'll go try in this pot. <laughs> or maybe in the waterfall. Is that gonna work? Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Let's see if we can get something in here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. This may not work. Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> It does! It does work! And it's not too lucky so far. I'll give it another shot and then we will move along to the next thing. But we did get an Unbreaking 3 bow, which is nothing to shrug off. That's a pretty good catch. Uh, but we'll go ahead and wait one more time and we will be right, 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 right back. That was weird. That was that was too weird. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, here we go. What's your plan? <gasps> a puffer fish. Okay, that is something great. We will end on that. So this is today's loot. We'll leave the loot in there for now. And uh, that was a very successful day. Oh, and I also may as well uh, leave the fishing rod in here too. So we'll go ahead and leave all of that. And uh, we'll come back to fish at a later date. But for now, there is something I want to do. So we'll go ahead and grab a few materials. I know I've got some wood and stuff like that lying around. So we'll go ahead and grab as much as I need and I will be right with you guys. All right, so uh, this design was tweeted in by a user named Joshua Murray, and I really, really, really dug his design. So I thought I'd show you guys, and we can go ahead and get started. So he kind of kept, kind of kept this for the most part, except he did add a nice beam of wood here to mix it up. Now it's sort of different. It's 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 a little bit different. I'll go. You know what I'll do is I'll go ahead and well, it's not like this anyways. <laughs> I got to clear out a little bit. So I'll mine up a ton of this stuff everything that I need to start the design, and then we'll actually start placing the design blocks once I'm done with that. So give me just a second. All right, all right, all right. So this is what we're working with. Now, uh, what I need to do is finish up these nice wooden pillars to add a little bit of design support. You know, it's, it looks nice. And then I'll go ahead and finish up these two, and I'm not gonna be able to do that, am I? No. Uh, how am I gonna finish this off? Oh, like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I'll go ahead and bring this one up. Not that way, you silly goose. Okay, 
and uh, there we go and that should be finished off perfect and we'll finish this one like that and uh, now I can grab that if it comes down please no okay well I tried <laughs> I tried so this is the this is the frame of the design and then we'll go ahead and bring this log over as well and add a nice support beam and then behind this is where I add a little bit of flavor 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 um, and that's basically just gonna be oak wood planks <laughs> so very very plain back here but it also gets changed up a tiny bit when I go ahead and gra grab gra 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 grab some of these andesites and I put them down here and I don't know why I said that so weird it was it was a mistake it was a mistake <laughs> and uh, and then finally to round off this little hallway section of the design we finish it up with some cobblestone to accent the woods so uh, yeah it looks a little bit looks a little bit nice it's got a nice mix of materials now all it needs is a little bit more light which I do not have with me but I will get as soon as possible until then let's uh, figure out what we want to do with this and I already have a nice idea of exactly what we need to do so I'll start carving out and I'll be right back Anyways, the interior of this design goes something like this, so I'll bring a cobblestone around, create wooden pillars at the edges, and it's really, really hard to see right now. You'll just have to believe me. Anyway, so we'll bring this all the way around, and I will go ahead and use up a little bit extra to get, bring uh, this up to the top, and I think, yes, this needs to be a pillar, and, uh, and then cobblestone can go along this walkway here. Perfect! Just like that. Exactly what what I need. Now behind that cobblestone I will put a nice layer of uh, oak planks so it kind of looks like that and then maybe now I'm thinking about that that would go right there right? Yeah, that would go right there. Perfect. Now, along this side, we got a little bit of a change of pace here. I'm going to change up the design, and he added a nice set of bookshelves, which looked very, very good. And he also had three chests. Now, three chests wouldn't really work on this design, so I think maybe we could have, like, I don't know, maybe a crafting table, a furnace, and then a chest. I don't know. Just a nice little... I don't know, nice variety of, of things in the middle. So that could be that. Then we could have some nice paintings and, and, and things like that over here. I think it'll look pretty cool. But uh, now what I gotta do is I gotta finish off the floor and uh, make it look all nice and pretty. Now, the design that was sent in to me had a pool as the floor. It had a nice little bit of sand and it had a waterfall coming out of the back, right over there. Um, the problem with that is, is I already have a big old pool in my backyard. So I was thinking maybe we could turn this into a different type of room. I'm not exactly sure what, but if you guys can follow this design and send in, uh, send in ideas to my Twitter or however you want to, um, please go ahead and do that because uh, it's always, it, it, is, it is all up to you guys because this design um, was requested by you guys in the first place and uh, this whole building was requested you in, by you in the first place, so I thought... Why not give you guys uh, a chance to figure out what this room should be? It could be a secret room for holding diamonds. It could be a better enchanting room, and I can change the enchanting room up there. It could be whatever you guys want it to be. Now, obviously, it cannot have a completed floor yet <laughs> because I don't have enough. I don't have enough materials. I did not come prepared, but I should have enough wooden planks to at least get this going here. And uh, I do have a piece of coal. Oh, is that... Okay, yes, perfect. Perfect timing on this, actually. I really do need some of this coal. So I'll go ahead and grab that. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We can finally liven up the place a little bit with some nice torches. I love it. Okay, okay, so there we are. Now, the really, really cool part about this design is going to be completed in just a minute here. Uh-oh, did I just, yep, I trapped myself. <laughs> and it is the ceiling. I really, really like the ceiling of this. So we'll go ahead and get all these oak planks placed and you guys can see the ceiling in just a second. All right, all right. So another stage of the building done and that is that. So I cleared out a little bit of the roof. Now, if you're wondering why this is all looking so weird. Uh, there was a ton of gravel, so I had to deal with that, and it just kept falling and falling over and over again. Very, very painful, but it, I, it, I had to be done. It had to be done. Okay, so now it's time to check out some more of these logs and place them along to add some more support beam looking structures onto this build. Now, kind of like earlier, it's going to have a cobblestone above these beams, but there is a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of a catch, and I'll show you guys right now right now we're on to it so basically the way this design is going to work is I'm going to have uh, maybe uh, something right there and then something right there yeah, OK, 
okay, I like the way that looks. So we're gonna have two beams. Or should I just do one beam? Yeah, we'll just do one beam. The design had two, but I'm looking at it and I think I'd rather have one. But this is the catch, and this is what makes it look so, so gorgeous, is the beam in the middle. I don't know why, but it just looks really, really good. So now what I gotta do is fill in the rest of this with cobblestone, and I will be right back. Just give me a moment. And we are completed. Awesome stuff. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that last piece, and then this extra, extra gravel that fell. And there we go, the room is Almost done, almost done. Uh, I just need to change this last piece up, but everything else does look phenomenal. So, uh, yeah, I need your guys' help to figure out what exactly we need to put in this room. But now that we've got it done, it should be easy to imagine, to picture something in here. Maybe there could be a shooting range? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's not that big. So we'll figure something out. Hopefully you guys, you guys can put your brains to the test, and I will pick out a great winner, and, uh, and we'll go ahead and try to work on that later. But for now, that is that, and it's still under construction, so I'll not remove the sign. But uh, there we go. Good progress for today. What else should we do? Oh, oh my goodness. Did you see this? Oh my goodness. Goodness, we can finish it for the most part now obviously we are going to add a few extra things like some decorations over here We're gonna fix up this make it nice and symmetrical, but everything it should it come to uh to a completion after I place this floor down. So everything is basically done, but we do need to decorate and add a purpose to this old space. So that's where you guys come in, but at least we got the floor done. Very, very good. So we'll go ahead and put away some of these blocks and we'll get on over to the next thing I have planned for today. And the next thing I have planned is a goodbye. And yes, it has, we did everything I wanted to do this episode. It did take a little while, but I'm glad we finally got it done. So we did enchant an awesome fishing rod, a fishing rod that will last us the rest of this game and I cannot wait to catch some awesome stuff with it and we also finished up the inside of, uh, of the room which you can actually see um, through here see that little iron bar that's where that that was in the same room pretty cool stuff if you guys did not know and uh, yeah so that was that for today now of course please do leave your suggestions on what to put oh Oh, another puffer fish, two in a row. Very, very good. Um, so yeah, leave your suggestions on what to put in that room in the in the uh, comments below, of course. But also give me suggestions on what you guys want to see me do in this survival world, whether it's go explore or finding specific items or decorating specific things or building different buildings. Please let me know. And what was that? An unbreaking three and punch one bow. Very good. Very, very good. It seems as if we're just getting good stuff now that we're wrapping up. But it is what it is. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I cannot wait for episode 62. I am going to have a blast. Thanks so much, guys. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. And before we go, before we go, we have someone to deal with. Hi-ya! There we go. <laughs>